season six, episode six. This one's called Fallout. So guys, I cannot wait to check out this next episode. With uh, we're gonna probably see Raya in this next episode. I hope she's alive. It seems like she might be alive because she did get out of the Phantom Zone just as you know when Clark opened the portal and stuff. So that she got dragged in there with pretty much everyone else there. So we gotta definitely see you know if she's alive or not. I'm assuming she is. So it's gonna be definitely pretty interesting to see her. Uh, in this episode if we do you know see you know what her condition is that was pretty surprising really surprising to see you know because i thought she'd probably maybe probably die because she did get stabbed but uh it really didn't confirm that though even at that episode when we saw her get stabbed but from this last episode as well we did see the reunion with uh, lex luther and oliver queen because oliver and lex went to the same school oliver technically was the bully uh in this one which i would ex you know expect because you know Oliver is a douchebag in the beginning, even the CW version. That's how I would expect him to act when he was younger. And, you know, it really did show in this episode what kind of person he was at that time. You know, cocky, rich guy, whatever. And, you know, Lex Luthor was trying to be able to, you know, join the group in a way or be a part of the group. And, you know, his friend... You know didn't want to be that you know he wanted to just still be friends with lex of course but we they did find out about you know oliver taking like t you know test answers with his friends or whatever uh and yo both his friends died as well oliver uh queen's uh friends one died by the sword from the one of the statues other friend died from the car you know fire and stuff that blew up but lex luther's friend you know was you know getting treatments he was technically alive but he was pretty much like a vegetable. It was like, in a way, like a power. Like he was able to go outside of his body, you know, using his brain in a way. Obviously, Kryptonite was definitely a part of this, or like the Meteor Rock. He was literally trying to kill uh, Lex and, of course, Oliver. Literally trying to kill him. But then, you know, the EMP, came, you know, went off from the arrow that, uh, you know, Lex Luthor's friend shot at uh, Clark. And it blew, you know, exploded and then he died with it. So definitely really interesting. Super interesting to see. But I'm really looking forward to seeing this next episode, guys. And the Patreon sponsor for today is from Raccoon. Raccoon, thank you for your wonderful support for this month. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Make sure you just go on the page because you're joining our appreciating support that does come around. Anyway, guys, let's get into this next episode for Smallville. Wait. Little Romeo? Was it Smallville? What? Time to pony up, yes. I did not know he was in Smallville. That's actually interesting. Set the table. I cleaned up. All right. Tomorrow night. That's two out of three. Ain't got him in here. Can't do it, man. I got stuck. Well, come on, man. You know you gotta square me up. Look, I got a test, man. I can't. Oh, he saw it. Is he in his body? Yo, so creepy, creepy man. That was some creepy, creepy man. Where is Kalel? What up? I said, where is Kalel? <laughs> Oh my god! Damn his poor friend! Woo! Oh god. I had a feeling that was gonna happen when Phantom uh, got in his body. There's a lot that Lex would like to tell me. You could have just left. Why come to me? Because I'm not the only one I'm worried about. I'm getting as far away from the Luthers as possible. I suggest you do the same. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Up. Oh. Just taking pictures. Oh, Jimmy. Oakland, California. Local authorities determined it was made by a shooting star, but that was just wishful thinking. Sorry. It impacted six weeks ago, right around the time you fell out of the Phantom Zone. It gets worse. He's already killed once. Two boys went missing on the side of the crater. And all they found were human ashes and a basketball. Ryan. Hello, kal -El. Gee, we're in the bullpen, not the back of my yard. Which I am looking forward to visiting again soon, but first, <laughs> I need a blank new dress. Gotta look sharp when you're accepting our Pulitzer. Your words, my pictures. 
I think I should run a tux or is that too stuffy? Jimmy, I would uh, hold off on the bow tie. This is a bumper. Yeah, but watch. This guy takes a metal briefcase into the car and leaves without it. Jimmy, I've dealt with the Luthers before, and the kind of ball they play is very, very hard. Then I guess I better bring my bat. Appreciate the help. Jimmy. Ah, uh, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. Yeah. Oh. He nearly gave me a heart attack. Serious lack of signage down here. Um, which way is Archive? Ah, it's over there. Are you, um, one of the new interns? Learning all the information. Come on. What exactly is your connection to this man, Mr. Luther, and what was in the steel case that he gave you? He doesn't. You know, James, I was very happy to hear that Chloe finally landed a boyfriend. It appears my jubilation was premature. Oh, God. Yep. Mr. Olsen has to get back to Metropolis. If you ever try anything like this again, you'll be leaving through the window no matter who you're dating. That's what she tried to warn him about. <laughs> He's smiling. Oh. You cheated. Oh, that is because freaking sweet. You catch me in the last county. That's awesome. Jorel would have never let you get away with that. How could I trust someone who brought so much pain into my life? Pain is a part of anyone's journey, Kal-El. You can't escape it. You Good must point. accept your destiny. Too bad that destiny's just gotten a little shorter. The last son of Krypton. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. No one has been coming for me. And I think it will be worth the trip. We want to pay back your old man for giving me a one-way ticket to hell. But then he had to go and get himself a viscery, along with everyone else from that ice cube you call a planet. So I guess you'll have to do. Get that revenge. Oh! Nice, Raya. Racing around. Chloe, this is Raya. Oh, Raya. Wow. It's nice to know something good finally came out of the Phantom Zone, especially since we have a big problem. Chloe, this is what Zod was going to use to wipe out the Earth. Where'd you get this? Jimmy took it. It was on Lex's desk. I thought I destroyed it. I know this design. It's part of the brain interactive construct. Yeah. Well, Brainiac. This box is its power core. Kryptonian energy source exponentially stronger than anything here on Earth. Baron. Give him enough power to fuel him indefinitely. And kill us both. Oh, right. Yeah, I definitely don't want him to get that. We've been through this before with the ship and something has got to give. The box? Or me? Oh, don't. Oh. You have something I need. Lana cost security. The kind unavailable right now. No, he's going after it. You're not getting near it. Damn! Oh, you've got yes. to be kidding me. That's another problem. It's only a second to reburn. Nothing to worry about. How did that thing know about the box? It's 
exactly what I was wondering. You think that I'd actually be involved in something like this? That I'd let you get hurt? No. Of course not. He's assuming. <laughs> I can't trust no one. Clark. What are you doing here? I went by the mansion. I heard you were taken to the hospital. You okay? We're fine, Clark. Dude, if you could just see the tension between those two. Hate to question your good-natured visit, but are you really interested in Lex's health? What's the real reason you're here? Look, you don't want to get in the middle of this. No, you don't want me in the middle of it, but it's too late. Clark, stop trying to think up excuses and just tell me what's going on. You've seen this before? Yes. But it doesn't matter anymore. It's just a pile of ash now. It was more than that. Fortress was a storehouse for all the knowledge in the universe. Oh. That's all that we had. How could this happen? How can you revive it? There has to be a way. I don't know how to bring it back. School reform rather than actually doing something about it. Clark? Don't you mean Kalel? He left without saying goodbye. Where's Clark? That's what I would like to know. The family has a unique tone. A beacon to identify itself. Baron's sure to recognize yours. And follow it straight to me. Yep. So this is jor famed Fortress of Knowledge. I thought it'd be bigger. Doesn't matter. You won't be staying long. This is the perfect place for the fall of the House of El. Damn! I'm trying to use the crystal. Paying for this single father can be a bitch. Oh my god! Got another phantom. Wow. Raya? Raya better not be dead. Went through. She's still alive. It has enough power now. Restore the fortress. Couldn't share in your destiny. You've got to be kidding me. What? One episode? Damn, I thought she may be like there a little bit longer than that, but I was expecting her to die like that. And where am I? Hospital. Kansas. Kansas. Do you have any idea how you got here? I barely even know where here is. Ain't no bar, no beach. Kansas is strictly flyover. So the last six weeks? Six weeks? I was playing ball with, with my boy Yance, and, and after that... Uh, not, am I supposed to know you? No. My name's Clark Kent. We found you unconscious, and... I didn't know what else to do, so I brought you here. Kansas, huh? <laughs> Kansas. Is it like in disbelief? You know, our conversation was interrupted. Don't you mean your ultimatum? Do you honestly think I wouldn't have chosen you? I guess we'll never know. God. The awkwardness, the tension, oh my god. I was with Raya. I didn't feel alone anymore. Clark. Mom, I know how much you love me and how much dad. 
but I've always felt different because I am. And Raya was the first person I ever met who could really understand that. First time I'm ready to stop running from who I really am. He's gonna go for it. To his training. From my destiny. You wanna go? But I can't. Not yet. Not until every prisoner that I release from the Phantom Zone is returned. Right. Or destroyed. Gotta get rid of them first. There it is. It's back, like, back alive. All right, guys, another great episode for Smallville. I mean, I feel bad that uh, Raya, you know, gave up her life uh, for Clark and stuff. And, of course, for the, the Fortress of Solitude, basically. That was, like, one episode. I mean, we saw her, like, well, technically the second episode with her, but, like, this is like the first episode we got to see her like a little bit more and then she died. Like, come on. I thought it was going to be at least a little bit longer. I mean, Clark can learn a little bit more about her. Of course, learn about, you know, his family and of course about the planet or something like that. No, she got killed off like that quick. But I guess it was just the push for Clark to now do his training now, you know, to, you know, become who he's supposed to become. Of course, we know the future is Superman. Uh, of course, we see the symbol, of course, through his, from his dad's crystal. That's going to be a symbol on the suit, you know, one day in the future. So it's going to be definitely really interesting to see that once we do see that part. Fortress of Solitude is now pretty much revived at this point because we see at the end it's pretty much lit lit up again. Uh, so that's a good thing. So he could be pretty much probably talk to uh, Jarrell very, very soon. He said the first thing we're going to do is just get the phantoms and then we'll go to the training and stuff like that. So this is definitely going to be really cool to see like the beginning of his training and see what Jarrell is going to say to him. It's going to be really freaking cool. And I mean, the tension between Lex and uh, of course, you know, Clark, it, it's there. It literally is there just to see, you know, when when Lex sees uh, Clark, he just, there's just a, a awkwardness between them now. It just, it's not the same anymore what it used to be when they used to be friends when Clark was you know able to go in the mansion and talk to him and stuff like that it's, there's definitely a huge difference between you know their friendship now and of course I do feel like Lana and Lex's relationship will go sour really quickly I think because it's just been going it's just back and forth lying to each other literally and you know keeping things from each other and literally Lana's becoming like something like maybe a little dishonest a little bit with certain things like you know of course you know, Lex at a point like I thought you want honesty I want thought you this but here's the thing you know Lex is not honest either of, of course and it's like it's gonna be messy I just feel like just to see those two I mean just seeing the relationship is gonna go it's not gonna go well I just have a feeling about it, just the way it's just going. I was not expecting a uh, little Bow Wow in this one. I mean, I know he's not called Little Bow Wow anymore, but or we could just call him Bow Wow because I mean, I remember his. I remember when he was younger when he used to did the music videos and stuff like that. I grew up at those times where I remember that. I remember when he was doing that. I wasn't expecting him to, you know, be in, you know, one in Smallville. Like he's just an unexpected, you know, guest uh, of the show. That was freaking cool. He's a pretty decent actor too. I seen some of his movies. I thought he, did, I think he does a pretty good job acting. I really do. Of course, Clark got one of the, you know, he got the Phantom out of him. You know, got him to the hospital, talked to him and stuff like that. This is going to be cool to see, you know, Clark pretty much going around to grab these phantoms and getting, you know, getting them back. And then he can start his training. Anyway, guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing this next episode. Please leave a like and a comment on the video. Make sure you just go on that Patreon page get the full reaction. And also consider this part of the channel as well. Anyway, guys, if you guys have a wonderful day, I'll see you next Smallville.